Excuse me, sir. So sorry to bother you. Would you take the iPhone or would you take the food? You can pick one. IPhone. iPhone. All right. God bless. You. Excuse me, sir. I'm so sorry to bother you. I'm giving away this iPhone and food. What would you take? Would you take the food or would you take the iPhone? I take the food. You, really? Yes. Go ahead and close this food for me. Uh, close the box. No, not the phone. Yeah, close the box. Yep, close the box for me and hold it. No, you hold it because the food is for you. Okay. Um, I wanted to ask you, why did you decide to take the food, not the iPhone? Because the iPhone is worth more than $1,000. Because the, the food, we don't eat. We're, we're not eating. We're on the street. We're, you you're not eat. eating? We don't eat like we're supposed to. And you're on the street? So when we get food, it's good. We just huh. get it. You said you're on the street. How long have you been living on the street? 20 years. 20 years. 2-0. Two 2-0. Zero. Two zero. Wow. Do you still remember the reason what happened and how did you become homeless? Uh, my family uh, passed away and stuff and uh, there was nowhere to go and stuff. And, uh, when you said family street, passed away? My, my mom and my dad. So, so your parents. Yeah. And how old were you when your parents passed away? Uh, my parents. My, my mother died about, about seven years ago and my dad died about 15, 18 years. Oh, another question. This 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 is your car right behind yes. you, right? Okay. So. Like so, my belongings, I use so they the were, they were actually the one that was financially supporting you, and without them, you just couldn't do I was anything. Just staying with them. You, you were staying I mean? with them. I was always in and out of prison. You were in and out of prison. Yeah. And so every time I came out, you know. Did you had a place to go? Yeah. And then when you came out last time, they were not there. They were in the hospital. And got they were in the hospital and got away and stuff. You know. Wow. So I just, just chose to be in the street. I I am so sorry to hear that. So. Uh, when was the last time you ate? Since you mentioned it's hard to find food, when was the last time you ate? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. And you haven't ate in like almost 24 hours? Yeah. Wow, that is crazy. So do you ever ask people for food? Or people usually help you out? How do you find food? They, a lot of people come around and give it to us. They see us, they come and bring it. So just people just literally like come yeah. to you and they give you food? Yeah. You never have to ask like with a, a sign or something? We don't have to ask because they just bring it. Wow, that that is that is great, that, that's man. That's great for the people that do it. Wow, so there's actually a lot of good people that actually do this, or yes. there's only yeah, few. There is, no, there's a few good people. That have do you it. have you like built a close like relationship with them? Like, do they like personally know you? They sit with you, talk to you, and get to know yeah, you. Yeah, some of them are, are religious people. They okay. talk to us. You know. they, they, so the religious people. Uh, church, what do they talk they about church, from the church? Churches. Do Do you believe in anything? Do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe yeah. in other gods I or anything? In that. You believe in God? Yeah. Amen. Amen. When was the last time like you were saved? So since you believe in Jesus, did you ever? thought of uh, you know giving yourself to god yeah i did it a few years ago but, you did a few years ago but, I just never, uh, but never you never had up, i never kept up with you it. never kept up with it yeah. but when they come and read from the bible for you go through the verses do you ever you know listen to them and yeah you do wow I listen to it. that's that's I listen, you know it's not right not to wow that is amazing man um let, let me ask you one more question when it yeah. rains where do you sleep? Because I know you have this car right oh, here. We had, a, we had a, I had a canopy. I got so you, a canopy right here. So you still so have it, it or it's Yeah, sure, right here. Oh, you, you hide it in there? It's in that, it's in that blue thing. That oh. Blue, that blue thing. Oh, okay. And you so it, is it... Stand it up and put the tarps over it. But is it yeah, rainproof no. or... But the water don't go inside. The water don't go inside it? No, because I got a few tarps. I put, you know, more, more than one. To uh, keep and, the rain out. Okay, got it. Any anything about like a positive message you want to give to people? Because I know it's twenty years living on the street is not easy. Anything no. you want to say to the people like that are struggling right now with money or living with parents? What would you tell them? Just try hard. Try to do what you can. Don't start stealing your shit because you won't get nowhere like that. Right. And and also the people that are living with parents or depending on parents, what would you tell them? You have to grow up out of that. You have to get out of that. Yeah. Be more independent. Yes. Because God forbid something right. happened to your parents. Right. What you gonna do? Then you got nothing. Then you got nothing. Right. You you can end up on the streets. Right. You don't I, want that. I ended up right there. Sure. Right, right, right. And and again, you have you have a different story. Everybody has a different story, you know? Yeah. But but everybody has different beliefs. You believe in God, you believe in Jesus. Somebody people believe in some something else, right? Right. And I think 
um, the people that are gonna learn from your story is that do not depend on the parents okay. I think that's a very very powerful thing right now especially in America a lot of people do that a lot of people yeah. are doing I have friends that are 30 plus yeah. and they're still living with parents they're 40 yeah. years old they're still living and surviving on parents money a lot of people are actually doing that and I think a lot of people will actually learn from this this video this lesson that hey I need to move on I need to do something bigger living with the parents are is not gonna help me in life it's not gonna last, you forever. It's not gonna last forever because what if something happens to your parents you know yeah. parents are not gonna last forever either right. parents are gonna get old one day they're gonna go and what are you gonna do about it right I have so many cousins that are still depending right. they're in their 40s man they're in 50s they're, they're still they're depending prepared. on the parents they're not prepared for it they're and not prepared for this to be prepared. They, they, they have to be prepared for it hey man okay let's come to the point I went to so many people people are taking this iPhone which is almost more than a thousand bucks you could have taken the iPhone you could have sold it for a thousand dollars but you decided to take the food why are you so different um, I just like food I like to eat you like to eat that's that's all you ask for yeah and and people that are it's a blessing you get food you it's know? it's a big blessing that you yeah. get food so people that are actually you know passing by or they see people on the street they don't help what would you say to them what what is a message you can't just think that you're better than somebody else because it could, it could happen to you. It could happen to you. And also don't exactly. judge people because exactly. not everybody has the same story. Only, only God could judge you. Only God. And not, not everybody has the same story. You know, that's that's another thing. Yeah. Uh, all right. You know what? Here, what are we going to do? The, the food box that I gave you is not a regular box. So open it and see and there's something special in there for you. Maybe uh, way too much for me. Huh? It's too much Way for you? Too much, yeah. Why? I, I couldn't take something like that because I wouldn't know what to do with it. You, you don't know what to do with it? <laughs> I mean, it's not nothing, you know. So so what do you want me to do? You want me to like give it to someone else? Give who's it to gonna... somebody that needs it worse than I do. Wow. Bro, you have such a big heart. Do you want to donate it yourself or do you want me to do it for you? You donate it for me. All right, man. You know what? God bless you. And since you decided to do that, God bless you and I will actually go and buy you a meal, okay? All right. All right. Have a blessed day. <laughs>